Oh boy, election year, and a movie about modern America going to civil war. Great. When I first heard about Civil War, I thought it was going to be divisive. I was expecting a commentary about our current political state that would probably get people at each other's throats even more so than usual, if that's even possible. But honestly, it really is not that at all. The whole setup of a modern day Civil War really is just that, a setup. There's barely any explanation of what brought this version of America to this point, and there's really no exploration of the effects of political divide. Instead, it focuses way more on journalism, as we follow a group of journalists making their way through war-torn America. In particular, it touches on a very specific topic that I remember finding very interesting in a photography class I took in college. Ironically, that class happened to be about American history told through photography. Anyway, it's the question of the ethics surrounding documenting horrible stuff like war and other tragic events without involving yourself. It's such a fascinating philosophical topic, but I don't think the movie really explores it all that much. It very deliberately touches on it, but just like its political commentary, it feels like it wants the audience to decide what the answers are for themselves. You could call that cleverly ambiguous, but to me, it felt like a cop-out, right down to how it ends. There's a few good scenes in this, like one where they're in a shootout, and one of the journalists tries asking one of the guys why they're even doing it, and the guy's just like, dude, they're shooting at us, we're shooting back, cause we don't wanna die. Cause, yeah, you can have all the philosophy about war that you want, but in that moment, that's all that matters. The best scene in the movie is the one with Jesse Plemons. Which makes sense. He's basically the new Philip Seymour Hoffman. Everything he shows up in, he steals the show. And his performance here is so chilling and ramps the tension way up. That's all I'll say about it here, but it's seriously a great performance. Plus, the visuals of this movie were very nice. It's very well shot. There's some beautiful scenes that I really enjoyed the mood of. But speaking of visuals, I know I ragged on this movie for its ambiguity, but one detail I did enjoy was the ambiguity of the character designs. They combine very conservative coded looks with stuff like the military gear and very liberal coded looks with stuff like brightly colored accessories and hair and nails. It's a very interesting choice. Just like the choice to have the two seceding states be an alliance between Texas and California, two politically opposite states. Every detail feels carefully crafted to not make any one side of the political spectrum look like the aggressor of this war. And I'm fine with that kind of vagueness. It actually seems pretty smart. But the problem is, I didn't find anything substantial being said in its place. Not about the ethics of these photographers, and even less about the political state of this setting. Every topic seems touched on, and that's it. Well, those are just my thoughts after watching this movie. What y'all think? Agree? Disagree? Think I'm stupid? Let me know in the comments. And let me know what you thought of this film. As for me, I say, Civil War? More like Civil Mid. <laughs> The most interesting thing about it was the map they released during the marketing. Which, by the way, I take issue with because I know for a fact that these states would all rather be nuked than be known as the Florida Alliance. 